Welcome to our virtual classroom. Join me for some fun learning. Hello, 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 and how are you? It's story time, it's story time, and I am glad to see you. Today's story is The Couch Potato. Thank you for joining Miss Nicole for story time. And we're gonna read about the couch potato today. Wherever you are in the world, it may be different than where I am, but where I live at, it is the end of May and it is almost time for the school year to be out. And so I wanna remind children over the summer, don't be a couch potato. Take some time, get yourself up, get outside, get running, get moving. And if you don't believe me that's important, let's read the couch potato and find out why I'm in, I am encouraging you to make sure that you remember to move your body and to get out and enjoy your summer and the fun of being on vacation from school for the whole summer. All right, so what was I gonna tell you? Something else about the couch potato. Maybe I've said enough. Let's read our story song. Uh, let's, let's read our story song. <laughs> let's sing our story time song. I am reading, I am reading. Look at me, look at me. Time to put the toys away and listen to what I say. One, two, three, eyes on me. This is the front of the book. This is the back of the book. This is the spine, this is the spine, this is the front of the book. It tells us the name of the story, The Couch Potato. It also tells us the author and illustrator, Jory John and Pete Oswald. This is the back of the book. It lets us know it's the end, but guess what? Don't be sad, you can always read it again. And this is the spine. And this is the spine and the spine of the book holds the pages together just like the spine in your body holds your body together. All right, you see me? I'm moving already. I want you guys to be moving because this is a motivational movement Monday message. When you're on summer vacation, remember, don't be a couch potato. Not every day. I know sometimes you do need your time to just be Relax and do nothing, but you don't want to make that every day. Want to know why? Let's read the story and find out. I am a potato. Not a small potato like my brother, small fry. <laughs> not a sweet potato like my mother. And not a mashed potato like my uncle Stu. I am a couch potato. Oh yeah, it's true. My favorite place to slouch is on the couch. I spend all my free time sitting in this exact spot. <sighs> Why would I ever leave this comfy, cozy couch? It's got everything a potato could need. See, I have this and this and this and one of these and those and this and that and these. Oh, and this. Check it out. This button activates a gadget that fetches me snacks whenever I want. Bam! Impressed. And I don't have to move an inch much easier than going to the kitchen. He's got all his gadgets to keep him sitting comfortably on the couch doesn't even have to move to get food. If the most important thing is life in life is to be comfortable at all times, then I think I've got it figured out. <sighs> but wait, there's more. I have revealed the I haven't revealed the absolute best part of my whole setup. Uh oh, we got something else. Look. Looks like he's pulling a cord. It must be behind a big curtain. What is he going to reveal to us? It 
It's everything you see in front of me. Have a look around. Take it all in. Pretty spectacular, right? Yeah, it's a sea of shimmering screens from wall to shining wall. What a joy. What bliss. These screens feature my favorite show, this and this and this. These screens have all my unanswered messages, this and this and this and this. These screens are where I play my video games. And this screen is a live stream of my friend, my best bud for life. So he is using a screen for everything. This is how my pals and I spend quality time together. It's much easier than trying to meet up somewhere like folks did in the old days. That's for sure. And we know all about this because if you had to spend time at home doing distance learning or visiting with people during the pandemic, everyone was FaceTiming and using all different types of technology to, to communicate and to talk with each other and to connect. And you know what? For a time, it was good and it was needed. But do we want to spend all our time in front of the screen? And it says, hey, Spuddy. Hey, pal, Tato. Yeah, from this very couch, I can control everything in my life at all times. With just a few taps and a couple of clicks. Not bad, eh? Yes, sirree. This is the life. At least that's what I thought until the other day. Let's find out what happened and make him change his mind. Something strange happened. There was a knock at the door. It was a delivery whoosh and look he can see the front door cam and see the delivery potato putting it in the shoe and here it's coming right to him it was my newest device a video camera that would allow me to watch myself react while i was watching all my favorite shows woohoo wait a minute so he bought a new device that's a video camera that's gonna watch him watch himself all I had to do was plug it in, and my room, nay, my kingdom, would be complete. But suddenly, pew, and look how many gadgets he has plugged in. I know I was making a joke with my family as we were quarantining and learning from home and working from home. I felt just like this. I was always taking a device out to charge another device and then this device was out. So if I charge my laptop, oh my gosh, then I needed to charge my iPad, then my work phone, then my work computer, my son's school device, my daughter. Oh, we were full of charging around here. We felt like robots, all the charging we were doing. But when he tried to plug his new device in, everything went dark. Look out, coming through. Whoops, ow, oof. So he's trying to figure out what is going on. Having a blackout. I made it to the window and I pulled back the curtains. The sun seemed brighter than I remembered. There was nothing better to do, so I decided to take my dog, Tater, for a walk outside. It had been a while. He spent so much time inside in the dark looking at screens. When the sunlight got on him, he's like, oh. Everything was so vivid, like a high resolution, 156 inch curved screen, but even more realistic. Something smelled fresh. After a few moments, I realized that it was the air. I heard a noise, some chirps, a ringtone perhaps. But no, I looked up to see some actual birds chirping. I wandered down the street from block to block and across the neighborhood. Eventually, I found a park with a hill. There was a massive tree on top. It looked like a desktop background, only it was real. Neat, he says. 
I leaned against the tree. It wasn't as comfortable as my couch, not even close. But after a while, it wasn't so bad. <sighs> so these are things that he's so used to seeing on a screen that to actually be able to get outside and see them, he's comparing them to them looking a whole lot different when you're actually outside and actually seeing a tree and actually hearing the birds chirp. Any worries about the power outage and what I might be missing drifted away. I wasn't thinking about my favorite shows or my unanswered messages or anything else really. And again, I don't know where you live at, but where I live, we are going to be having summer vacation, so kids will be off of school soon. And also in our area, people are beginning to be able to be outside without having to wear their mask. Even though they're asking us to still remain distant, we can still be outside. I noticed the stillness, the view, the sky, the clouds, the sunset, and those colors. My goodness, it took a while because there was no fast forward option, but eventually the sun sank below the horizon. So he actually took some time and watched the sun set. Beautiful. By the time I got home, the power was back on. I sat on the couch, phew. I hit the button to brush my teeth. I pulled the lever to change my pajamas. I turned the, the knob to watch a bedtime story. Then I noticed my reflection in one of the screens. I wonder how much of my life had been spent in that very spot. It was then there that I made a decision to peel myself off the couch a bit more often, maybe every day even. So look, I'm gonna show you when he gets home, he plops down on the couch with a phew. Then he has a gadget to brush his teeth and he has a gadget to put on his pajamas and he watches his good night story, good night spud on a device. So our motivational movement Monday, if it was last week, but if you go back to five little monkeys jumping on the bed. I want to compare because they do the same thing in this story. Let's see. He has a gadget. Brush his teeth. Let's see how the five little monkeys brush their teeth. Did they have a gadget? Nope. They actually <laughs> use their hands and manually, that means without a gadget, brush their teeth. Now it says that he had a gadget to put on his pajamas. Do you remember we saying this is the way we brush our teeth and this is the way we put on our pajamas. And remember the five little monkeys, they don't have any gadgets. They actually just put their pajamas on themselves gotta remember but the couch potato said he's gonna peel himself off the couch maybe every day remember motivational movement monday when you're home on summer break do something every day where you can go outside and move around in the fresh air and let's see if he took that advice. And it says, and so that's what I've done. I've started hanging out with my friends, my best buddies outside. We started biking and hiking and swimming and hiding and seeking. Sometimes we have snacks and play board games. Sometimes we talk all day. We might watch the clouds. There's no big plan. We just see what happens. And I'm excited because my son will be able to go to summer camp and do all these things with the friends that he's going to meet at summer camp. How about you? Are you going to summer camp? And if not, do you plan to spend some time outside? It makes me wonder, what if I don't always need to be totally comfortable? What if I'm happier when I have a better balance between my gadgets and the world outside? 
because it turns out that I am more than just a couch potato. I am a amusing potato, a smart potato. I'm a kind potato. I'm an entertaining potato. And I'm a sit on a hill and watch the sunset potato. Yes, there's a great big world out there and I want to be part of it in person. But don't get me wrong, at the end of a long day, after I've run and played and talked and laughed with my friends, I still think it's awfully nice to slouch on the couch. <sighs> but guess what? He's not slouching on the couch with a device. He is reading a book. Yeah! The end. All right, that was the couch potato. This has been Motivational Movement Monday, and I'm here to encourage you that if you are about to be on summer vacation or break from school, to spend some time every day trying to go outside, trying to run and play and have fun, um, and just to do something outdoors where you move your body huh you know what i just saw over here in the corner bubbles and i remember i read in grandma i got this and the boy jj in the beginning it said that he loved to blow bubbles and we are reading about movement so i'm gonna blow some bubbles and i want you to move those arms up and out and try to poke them and if any fall down maybe try to see if you can step on them okay all right, let's move our body with some bubble play. Ready? Here we go. How about you take a deep breath with me and blow. Help me blow the bubbles, okay? So we're going to inhale. Now blow. Oh, I know why the bubbles are blowing to the side. Because in the studio, I have the fan on. Let's see if the fan a gadget, uh-oh, is going to blow the bubbles. Let's see if it works. Nope, didn't work. <laughs> a few came out. So we can try to get them, try to get them. But I'm competing with the fan. And I don't have a remote or a gadget to turn it off. But there we go, a few more. And a few more. One more time. Oh, that one was a good one. <laughs> All right. This has been Story Time and Motivational Movement Monday. Thank you for joining me. See you next time. And remember, you are the you in unique.